Tara Peterson with Crenshaw Peterson joins us uh, talking about blended families and you know people meet they get married they might have had kids with other relationships right. or been married before when that happens it's still important to get an estate plan it together. is and there's new issues when we have blended families because is there something still pending from that prior relationship do we owe a prior spouse alimony life insurance funds retirement funds when it comes to that um, and there might be different issues they might both have children so how are we going to address that and a lot of concerns with blended families is if I pass away I don't want my spouse to oust my children so how do we add in those protections what are some of those ways to make sure that everybody's protected yeah trusts are really the best way okay. to make sure that everybody is protected and when we utilize those trusts it's really putting a legal document into place that specifically outlines you know I want my children to get these things I want my spouse to get these things and making sure that that can't happen right along with that trust the spouses will both sign a waiver and say I'm not going to go after any other assets that I might automatically be entitled to just because I'm a spouse how does a trust work well a trust is like a bucket <laughs> and all of our assets are in the bucket the unique thing about blended families is that we might end up with more than one bucket so we might have a bucket on each for each spouse and they might each put different assets into those different buckets and each bucket is going to have its own rules and this bucket might say my assets are going to go to my children at death we see that very typically with nothing provided for the spouse when we have older late in life second marriages mm where they've already worked, they've got their kids, they've got their jobs, retirement, everything's already separated and they keep it that way. More commonly with younger blended families, we'll see something that says, these things I want to go to my spouse and the rest I want to go directly to my children. Right. And so we'll have different regulations within the trust, but some more commonly we have multiple trusts with blended families to make sure everything goes where it's supposed to go. So how does that trust work? The trust itself is what's gonna hold the assets and then Whoever we put in charge of that trust is who's going to divvy out those assets. Who do you put in charge of it? <laughs> yeah, and that's a good question. <laughs> Many times with blended families, we end up with an outside person yeah. because sometimes we don't want that tension between our kids and our spouse remaining there after we've passed away. And real quick, does the trust go to probate? It does not. It's yes. one of the benefits to the trust. That's <laughs> probably, we avoid the yeah. probate court. Yeah. All right, yes. we're going to put your information on the screen. You can get a hold of Tara by going to crenshawpeterson.com or you can give her a call at 517-347-2100. Thank you, Tara. Thank you.